Namaste, my beautiful queens, beautiful queens. Uh, this video, I want to ask you, if possible, I want you to try to turn off your brain. Like, imagine you have uh, the little valve in your head. Uh, imagine you switch it off. I will explain why. Because information I am going to give you, some of you probably uh, already know some of it. Some of you are clueless, never heard about it, because I'm going to give you the new paradigm uh, information. Information which probably many of you are clueless. Some of you brought up in certain societies and in certain paradigm. Uh, your brain is going to deny it because, uh, because this is not how you were um, programmed throughout your life. I want to please allow you to just listen to what I say and think. I don't care how many of this I receive. Um, I know that most of you want me to spread the cards and tell you uh, if Johnny loved Jane. I tell you something that my life goal actually uh, through, the, through the years to come is not to do the readings when John will call Jane. Probably uh, several years pro from now my goal would be the information given to you to completely change your life and your perception of yourself and your perception of everything. My goal is not tell you, will he call you by the end of the week? Will you get married and have three children? My goal in this life as a key twin flame, as unfortunately my own twin is not participating, I have to do it. And uh, this is why I am here for. This is why um, I live. This is what I am here for, to give you this information. So please listen. Try not to think. Try not to analyze. Please, if you can, give this information to other people. Let them think, even if they're going to deny, even if they're going to resist, especially if uh, religious fanatics, especially those you brought up in monotheistic religions. Just try to listen and just try to just listen to it. All I'm asking you to do is to just listen this video till the end, probably listen to it a couple of times. Um, and uh, really girls how many thumbs up how many thumbs down I get uh, you know I am not really it doesn't bother me it doesn't you know if I get uh, I don't know uh, uh, it, it doesn't bother. I'm not there anymore where I'm getting bothered with something like this. I am to give you information. So I'm going to tell you something extremely important. It's extremely new paradigm. So please, if you can listen to it a couple of times. Um, also, also, the thing is that... Um, the thing is that how many of you will hear me? I already told you. Uh, out of 80,000 subscribers, may, maybe going to be a couple thousand people who are going to listen to it. And maybe it's going to be only two, three of you who are going to apply it. But this is already my victory. Because two, three of you are going to start shining. And that influences not just the people around you. It influences the planet, the, 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 the rises vibration of the planet. So let me start. Water. I am sorry, this stupid um, advertisement just uh, pisses me off. So, I am going to start uh, right now. First of all, who we are. Why I drew all this. This you already probably know. The problem of, of most of you girls, and I hope I have 30 minutes enough. The problem of most of you, most of you are thinking, this is what I'm going to start, that you are this physical body. Most of you, some of you are aware of chakras. Some of you know or heard, not even all of you, but some of you heard of chakras. You are aware of your physical body, of this physical body, and some of you are aware of um, Muladhara root chakra, Svadhisthana, sacral chakra, 
solar plexus chakra manipura heart chakra this is why i have a crystal because some of us carry the crystal anahata chakra throat chakra visudha uh, ajna third eye chakra and saharsvara right here so some of you are aware of it if you were brought up in religions which which have no clue about it well I'm, i don't want to go into it who created those religions why they were created what for they were created when they were created the purpose of why they were created i'm not here to explain you this i'm here to explain you who you are what you need to know so but beside that, there are, some of you are unaware, some of you think that this is it, this physical body, this is who you are, this is not who you are, and girls, if I don't have enough time in one video to tell you everything, it's going to be second part linked here, you know how much time it takes me, like, like just to draw this, you know, I could do pickup card video like will he call you by the end of the week and have a hundred thousand viewers in a week. But this is what I want to do. This is what my heart wants me to do. So some of you are aware about chakras, but beside this physical body, there are seven bodies which you do not see first body etheric you can all look it up in google you can look it up girls not knowing who you are causes you tons of problems on physical and non-physical level first body etheric body second emotional third mental body astral body fourth etheric template fifth Celestial, six, and casual, seven. That's not all. This is just a part of you. This physical, chakras, and seven non-physical bodies of yours is not all. This is not all. Now, now look in here. I hope you can see it clearly. What do you see? I just drew an angel. I just randomly drew an angel. This angel, this huge being, you can call it angel. You can call it God. Because in fact, this is God. And you can call it angel if it's easier for you. So everything I have just showed you your physical body, your chakras, your seven non-physical bodies are all of it in here. This is you. All your chakras, all your non-physical body are inside of this huge angel or call it God. All right? This is what you think you are and some of you only know about your physical body are unaware about non-physical body and uh, in fact this is not what you are this is not who you are in fact this whole thing this huge angel the size of cosmos is you also you this angel this god this is you the 3D body, you think you are. You know why you think this is who you are? Because of the brain. The brain is our biggest enemy, believe it or not. Brain causes doubts and brain causes fears. So brain tells you and your paradigm tells you and your religion tells you and whoever your family tells you that this is it you are this and this is it that's nothing else this is gonna die and go to jump somewhere in a cloud such nonsense this is a lie you are all this this is god right here this is god you are inside of God and absolutely connected with it 
not God in you, not God outside of you. God is not above. God is not in the left, in the right, or below. You are inside of God. Okay? The physical body, the physical part of you, is the tiniest part of who we really are. Our 3D body has only one basic instinct, which destroys Unfortunately, for thousands of years, all the greatest things we ever had known, the basic instinct of the physical body is surviving. This is the only instinct, physical body, main instinct surviving. Other instincts are sex, pleasure, so on. But the main instinct is surviving for thousands of years. But we have a second nature. This is not who we are. This is not our nature. We have a second nature. We have divine nature. Yes, we have divine nature. The divine power, as I said, doesn't come from above. It doesn't come from below. Doesn't come from the left. Doesn't come from the right. We are one with it. We are united with it. We are inseparate from God. Every cell of our DNA, please hear me, every cell of our DNA is a portal to this divine. It can read, you, each cell can read and capture the signals from other worlds, other dimensions. It's not God inside of us. Because some of us uh, who try to, to go into esoteric think that God is inside of us. We are inside of God. And we are God. This angel is us. To be exact, we are inside of God and one with it. We are inside of this angels. angel. All level of us are not material. You Girls are not material because we are living in a material go world and I am a material girl. You know, bullshit. The only thing, my beautiful queens, which is material in you is this physical body. This is the tiniest part of all this. The tiniest part of you is your physical body. The tiniest part. Okay, the smallest part of all of us, which we consider us. This is paradox. We consider this us. But whether you realize it or you do not realize it, whether you believe it or not, this is not true. The physical body is your tiniest part. The truth is you are all this, absolute truth. All your levels exist with you. All these levels are connected with each cell of your physical body. So, when physical body dies, when this, this part right here, when physical body dies, all this stays. All this fields. All this vibration, this God, which is you, when your physical body dies, all of this stays. And then, when you come into physical body again, you come, so this body is gone, but all this stays. And so when you get a new physical body, you arrive to this same field, which is you, which has already in this field the wisdom the enlightenment the skills from past lives all the abilities and all the talents you have ever had so when physical body this one leaves another one comes but you are not your physical body so all this is eternal and immortal do you understand what I'm saying? 
when your physical body dies, all this stays. Everything. You come into this very field, which is you. Only thing changes about you is your physical body. Everything else in this field, which is unique you, stays. It's like a woman develops a child in her body, right? A woman develops a child in her body. This angel, this God, manifests the new physical body for new physical life inside of himself to experience, to learn, to develop new skills, to rise higher in self-realization, self-consciousness. Okay? This angel, this God, manifests the new physical body for a new physical life inside of himself. Body leaves, you stay. All this level of you stay. You are eternal and immortal. You are inside God. Every time you go somewhere, or you sit alone in your room, or you are at work, you carry all those levels with, with you. You are girls or boys, grander, much grander than you, you think. So this angel, this huge being of light, this God, this is you. These levels always have been. They are and they will be. These levels create these levels create your new physical body when your old body is gone, but you stay. That's why um, when people have out-of-body experience, they not just remember this one life, they remember all the lives they ever had. You carry all these levels of, in you. You are grander than you think. This angel, this huge being of light, this is God, and this is you. You're inside of it. They connect. You see, this, this all fields connect with your DNA. This field has all the things you have ever experienced in many and many of your lives. You are never alone. It's not... Again, I'm repeating, it's not you are with this angel or you are with this God. This God or this angel is with you, you are inside of it. Your consciousness is not in your brain. Please hear me. Your consciousness is not in your brain. It's never been in your brain. It never will be in your brain. Not there at all. Your brain is only the receiver. Your consciousness is not in your logic. Your consciousness is not in your head. Never been there. Never will be there. Your body, your body is a 3D part of this huge essence, this huge being. This information is the information which is being given now to many and many people. This is a changing of old paradigm. Feel it, feel it, feel it in your heart chakra. This changes the way you live, the way you pray. This changes the way you meditate. This way you always understand. You are always home. The expression I am comes from Slavic ancient Haryan Karuna. Ya yesm, I am, means I am estistva in Sanskrit, yestistvo in Russian. I am existence. I am all. I am everything. I am it. I am divine. I am God. You are always more than you think of yourself. This information can change everything in your life if you accept it.
this information will automatically raise your vibration. And the high frequency vibration brings into your life everything you want your life to be. You're a creator. I, I will scream about it, but I hope two of you at least will hear me. You are the creator. And this angel says to you, I am here. I am you. When will you understand it? This God is not in church, is not in mosque. You don't have to go somewhere to find it. You are inside of it. You are it. And this angel, this angel always, he always gives his hands to you and says, I am here. I am here with you. I am here. I'm you. When will you understand it? You know who is the big, biggest enemy here? You know who is our biggest enemy here? Brain. Brain is our biggest enemy. Brain, because it controls you. Brain controls you. Why? Brain has free will, so-called. So brain closes the door from all these energies which are already yours. Brain closes this door um, and prevents you to connect with all this paradox of life. Brain makes you think that you are this body. How do you know that you are connected with all this? How do you know? Lots of people asking me, how do I know that you are connected with all this very easily? Feel of joy absence of fear what religions make you feel absence of fear whenever you feel fear whenever you are afraid the more you are disconnect with all these energies you feel joy you feel love you don't have doubts you breathing easily this angel is you. Easy. It is you. The feel of joy. Absence of fear. This is when you know you are connected. You don't have to climb the mountain. You don't have to fast for 60 days. You don't have to do nothing to touch God. To find God. To reach God. It is already here. You are inside of it and one with it. We separate our physical body from divine. We think we are separate from God. This is the key of all most terrible things happen, especially in past 2,000 years on this planet because we were made to forget we were made to believe that we are separate that our physical body is separate from divine separate from god when this is the lie this is the lie we are god we are inside god and we are one with him this is the reason of all the problems because we separate ourselves from us we forget. Do you think you need to deserve the union with God? You think you need to go to church, you need to go to mosque to find God, already said. You're inside of it. God is always with you, one with you. It is like you are, this is how it is. It's like you are in a huge castle. And this castle has rooms in it called love, abundance, health, joy, family, self-realization, but you stay in one little room and you don't visit this, those other rooms, you, because your brain tells you it doesn't exist. You think your life is only one little tiny room where you are, which is your life circumstances for now. Don't you think it's time to find other rooms? This angel, this God, this angel, he wants to connect with you. But there is a problem here. The problem here that 
this angel, this God, he needs permission of your brain. Brain must allow you to connect with the rest of you. When you do not allow this connection that you exist, when, when, when your brain tells you that you exist separately from all of this, when your brain tells you you are just limited with your physical body, you are or somebody else, brain limits brain tells you you are a physical body so what happens when you consider that you are only your physical body then you know what turns on in you their survival mode when you consider yourself just this physical body then you turn on in yourself the survival mode the, the terrible things you do the worst thing you can do to yourself is to turn on the survival mode twin flames if we're already talking about it the thing is the twin flames they're, they're, they're going to be another figure right here what comes to twin flames there are going to be two of them twin flame first of all why they come they have the same field they come to wake up each other and uh, one twin, in my case, me, telling my twin, God help, God, God help, God in him help him, that uh, me, my goal was to tell him, you are not this. You are not this. You are all of this. Well, he didn't believe me. And maybe he's going to believe me uh, in 90 years from now, maybe never. Maybe he's going to believe it only when he's out of this physical body. But one of the, the goals of Twin Flames, so they are waking up each other. They are making each other face it that you are not the physical body. Karmic soulmates do the same. You are not this, you are all this. When you separate, I'm repeating myself, when you separate your physical body with the rest of yourself with the rest of who you truly are this is when you turn on the survival mode and the survival mode uh, mode unfortunately in order to survive you need to you know to step on somebody's throats in order to survive, you need to be, you need to sacrifice. In order to survive, you need to live in fear. In order to survive, you need to lie. In order to survive, you cannot allow yourself leave your dream. In order to survive, you have to wear masks. In order to survive, you have to do everything against your true nature. This is what happens when you when you allow your brain to convince you that you and God are two separate things, that your body and divine are two separate things, when you separate yourself from all this. This is what causes sadness, depression, anxiety, insomnia, because you are separated from all this. I am running out of time. As I already said, some important things I need to tell you. Um, some important thing I need to tell you about it. I am going to say in a part two. But um, many of you asked, asked me this question, uh, why you hate religions so much? The answer is very simple. What is so terrible in monotheistic religions? Mono means one. Religions are programming us to feel fear. To live in fear of a sin, of doing something wrong of God punishing us, fear has nothing to do with God. Fear is opposite of God. Fear is low frequency vibration. Fear, this exact thing which keeps you away from God, and religion tells us that this is, keeps us connected to God. Also, religions programming us to, to, to be separated from God. They tell us you are nothing, you are this, you, you are dust, you came from dust, you will go back to dust. This is a lie. 
a lie, a terrible lie. Uh, religion tells us we cannot be connected to God ourselves. We need someone or something, a priest, a Brahman, a church, a book. It's a lie. It's time to understand, to remember, to realize who we are. You are inside of God, one with God. Just allow yourself to connect with this. Your goal is allow this connection, this union to happen of you and your bigger you. Bigger you, grander you, because you are not this, you are all this. My beautiful queens, I will finish so far. I will tell some um, important things in the part two. Namaste.